All right, everybody. I just had a wonderful meal, and I'm feeling pretty pumped. I think all the all the trials and the tribulations that we've gone through um, are in the past. So, yeah, well, let's get back to kind of rebuilding. <laughs> we, we've had kind of some some compy issues, and so kind of my goal going forward is I want to get a spear. I think that will be Yep, uh, it's still kind of loading in like the textures and stuff. That uh, this game runs on the Quake Four engine, which um, you know I tend to work in Unity, but Quake Four was if I if I preferred kind of the first person perspective and I was more into first person shooter games, I would definitely want to learn the Quake engine because it's. Um, not only has it had a wonderful community support for a number of years, but on top of it, it's like, I, I think it looks really just gorgeous. Like, you can do some amazing stuff with it. I mean, case in point, uh, this thing. <laughs> this thing called Ark, Survival Evolved. Yeah, and, and like the way the plants twitch and everything, I, I think it looks great. But, yeah, I'm, I'm a Unity man. Unity 3D all the way. It's a... Uh, it's why I kind of learned video game design on, and it's it's a very powerful engine. And oh, I'm encumbered. Goodness, let's uh, let's see here. I think I need to make. I'm buck naked, so let's go ahead and get some clothing. Yeah, just just some stuff to kind of like help out with the fact that oh, it's it's super uh, it's super hot outside. Uh, we're sweating. We've been working out in the hot sun, doing some gardening, and I think it's about time that we uh, we dealt with our sunburn. So there we go. Um, and plus, I'll get us a little bit of a boost. Uh, I've noticed that we slowed down on our leveling speed. Part of that is probably I've been kind of not doing enough hunting, not doing enough kind of looking around and all that. What, do I need hide or something for that? What am I missing? Okay, so I want to make wood, and I also need for this just wood. So I need to find some wood, um, which <laughs> thankfully shouldn't be too hard. Uh, and heck, heck, oh heck, <laughs> heck, some meat would be good too. So yeah, Mernon Dodo. <laughs> uh. I, I do feel a little bit bad for going after the harmless creatures, but, you know, it's a brutal, brutal world, and you have to kind of accept that fact that I may not be the top of the food chain, but I, I'm a little bit up there, I like to think. <laughs> uh, at least I'm above the Dodo level, so, yeah, um, we got that going for us, at least. Now... I'm, like, I need to tame a Triceratops wicked bad, like, wicked sick, bad, gnarly. If I can do that, I mean, it'll be our protection. What, what is weighing me down? Just, oh, I got a ton of rock. Um, let's, let's split this stack and then drop half of it, and I think that'll fix, that'll fix any issues we have when covered. Awesome. So, yeah, yeah, like, I learned, um, uh, video game development on... Uh, in Unity, and it's it's quite powerful, and it's got a great community. So if you're looking for oh, Carbonemus, or <laughs> if you're looking for level two, uh, we can definitely take this this jerk on. In fact, I think if I get up this rock, he he might even be stuck on that and not able to even do anything about it. So let's let's hunt from some turtle meat. Let's see here. And yeah, it's cheaty, but whatever. <laughs> Gotta take advantage. Yeah, he's stuck. Ha ha. <laughs> you have no hope. Make your time. Wah. I'm tempted to tame a Carbon Nemus, but they're really slow moving. And, oh, he's already trying to run away. No escape for you, my friend. <laughs> for you have stumbled into the lair of the Graphides. <laughs> uh, gone full on primitive savage right here. Just like, you know, troglodyte. Oh, by the way, if you're ever wondering about the word troglodyte, which I'm sure you are because my viewership, and they're all very intelligent, <laughs> uh, it literally means cave dweller. So if you ever come across, like, 
There are certain species that are basically native to caverns and only caverns, and they're referred to as troglodytes. So, for instance, there's cave salamanders. They're, they're actually really interesting animals. They, um, basically, they've evolved in such a way that... Oh, good, he's out. Okay. And time to time to finish the job. Oh, all the gore. <laughs> but um, basically, cave salamanders, they've evolved so that essentially cave ecosystems have very little food input. It's typically stuff like, um, you know, uh, a, a random cockroach or whatever will crawl into. Where did the body go? Will crawl into a cave like every 20 years. So, cave salamanders, they've evolved this really unique metabolism. And we got our level up. Nice. I'm getting a spear. I think we need it. We might not get the pike because it's, it's pikes are kind of expensive, but I think we need the spear pretty bad. So, uh, we got 10 anagrams. Anything else? I'd really love to like learn narcotic. Well, what else we got here? Um, uh, level 10 when locks. Oh, we can actually get wooden structures, which would be nice, but, um, yeah, I, I don't know if it's, it's worth getting, well, we could get, like, a wooden foundation and the spear. It's tempting. We also need to get the thatched roof, I think, but, gosh, there, there's a lot we want. We actually, we want the mortar and pestle to be sure, so let's learn that right now. That's how you grind stuff up. Um, we also want, let's see, we only got four points left now, so unfortunately I'm gonna go with the spear. Well, not unfortunately, it's a good tool. Um, it just means, you know, less, uh, let's, let's move some of this stuff around, let's see. I want the spear kind of like, it's going to be my third tool, it's going to be right there, so let's go ahead and what do we need? Yeah, we, we need a little bit more wood, so let's get some, but I think having the spear will really help us out because we are, we're kind of desperate for some kind of protection, you know, and, and the spear is going to do that for us, so let's get going on that, but um, but yeah, like the cave salamanders, uh, basically their metabolism is so fine-tuned that they can survive for like five years off of one bug that they randomly find. And not only that, but like their whole reproductive cycle, it's fascinating. They've, they've evolved so that essentially like they mate once and they'll store, like if they're a female, they'll store the sperm in special little pouches. And that's all, you know, they mate once and then they'll be able to lay eggs for the rest of their lifetime. Um, on top of that, I mean, they're completely blind. They, they, their eyes are actually below their skin. They, I, I don't know. Like it, it fascinates me when species adapt to really extreme environments. And there's nothing more extreme than a cave because there's like, what made that stomp? What made that stomp? Uh, hopefully it was just, uh, you know, uh, veggie sores. <laughs> now let's test our spear. Blah! <laughs> yeah, see that? Uh, the spear is your early melee tool. The only issue with the spear, and it's a really frustrating issue, but it, um, it will break at random. It just, like, falls to pieces, which is really, really frustrating. Um, especially when... Can I jump up there? What, what's the deal? Okay. Especially when you're like you're in the middle of attacking something dangerous and it busts on you, because at that point you just have to kind of run away and hope that whatever it is that was giving you a hard time. Uh, now we're encumbered. I'm just kind of ooh ooh a lot of dodos here. Oh, I kind of want to tame that female one. Um, we got. We got narco bears and stuff. We could do it. Um, cause I like she. She's got a cool color, and I forget. I'm not quite sure, but I believe. Okay, and now you. Shh, shh. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Rest. Rest those eyes. I said sleep. <laughs> Gosh, I'm I'm just mean to the poor animals, but 
you know, it's it's a dangerous, dangerous world we live in, so. Okay, and I'm gonna remote use that, keep her torpor up. So while I'm in over in the inventory, let's let's go ahead and prepare stuff. Might as well. I was kinda waiting for it to just break, but whatever. I should also eat. Yeah, we're getting low on things. Prepare that as well. Uh da -da. I, I feel I'm feeling pretty confident though that you know we're getting to the point where we have enough levels. Um that even if we die we can kinda recover faster. Especially with more melee damage. That's so key early on. Now I wanna max out my melee at about are you are you tamed yet? I still need to name all my dodos. Um I'm not even sure what to name this one. I mean, she's pink. We, sh we could call her just Pinky. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, and I don't want to, like, completely run out of names, you know, but... Oh, well. Um, I, I kind of want to, like, start clearing out these trees and, and just really clear up the jungle so I don't have to worry about stuff sneaking up on me. And the same... What's over here? Oh, oh, I left the, the meats here. Jeez. <laughs> that was brutal. So I basically, here's what I did. I went, I murdered the love of her life in front of her eyes. I, and like, I beat her over the head with a stick until she was, like, unconscious. And now I'm forcing her to be my slave. It's, <laughs> it's just awful. I, like, <laughs> uh, that's the thing, though, like, a lot of people have survived, like, extreme, extreme situations. Okay, dodo name, dodo name. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Oh, I wanted her name to be kind of weird. <laughs> what, like, um, how about, um, I got one. Gertrude. <laughs> That's not all that weird, actually. There's plenty of girls named Gertrude, but... Um, so where I get the name Gertrude from, it's the duck from Journey to the Center of the Earth, the, the, like, 1970s version of it. <laughs> so there you go. Um, another male, huh? You're meat. You're meat from the table. <laughs> if you get that reference, you're older than dirt. <laughs> uh, War Warcraft 1 or 2. Yeah, that was Warcraft 2. Uh, Warcraft 1 was just orcs and humans. It had nothing else in it. Um, and it was kind of silly, silly, too, in a way, because um, you had to build roads in between, like, all your buildings so that your settlers could, or not settlers, like, your peasants could move in between stuff. Um, oh, it's raining. Well, that's nice. We'll get our water back up. I need a water skin. I still haven't gotten that. And it's actually kind of an important thing to have, so, uh, pick up a little bit of rock, just get some fiber, some extra berries, I want to check on my dodos, see if they have enough berries, I think they do, but it never hurts to, like, keep up with that, come on, come on, pick the berry bush, jeez, I don't know what it is about the leafy ones, they're kind of hard to, like, read what, what, how close you need to be to pick them up, man, it got dark, too. Spooky. <laughs> oh, I'm encumbered again. Delightful. And you can't run when you're encumbered. It's, uh... It can actually be quite dangerous, in a way, if you get ambushed by some big, nasty creature. Because, you know, you, you can't... Is that that Oviraptor? I swear. Yep, yep. That's what I did right there. You see how he walked up and he kind of, like, ran off? He grabbed an egg. I kind of want to tame him. Um, I don't think we can without Trank Arrows, though. Kind of not good. I also, um, ooh, a lot of eggs. Nice. See, I don't mind if he's grabbing one when we have that many. I also, like, realize, like, there's actually a taming limit for tribes, and we really shouldn't be taming dodos. What we should be doing is, um, essentially, you build a corral for them. But it's later on. Like, it, we're not quite at that point. Um, but what you can do 
is you make like an enclosed corral and then with a pteranodon you can swoop down and pick up dodos and you just drop them, the wild ones in the corral and then you have like a tamed oviraptor or two in that little corral you've built and they'll go and pick up the eggs and they can pick up the eggs without getting the dodos mad like you don't have to worry about feeding the dodos or anything like that um, it's just a better system so sad to say I might end up like uh, either unclaiming these guys or harvesting them all or something so <laughs> look look forward to me like weeping as I like murder my babies but I thought it said you could level up yeah so why is that not well okay one more will not quite there I guess any of you ready for leveling up no I think it needs to, yeah it needs to be that bright green not that uh and just keep pumping points in health. So, unfortunately, these guys might need to be retired at some point because since there is a limit to the amount of dinosaurs you can tame, I need to focus on the really useful either utility dinosaurs or, um, ooh, it's starting to get dark and gnarly out here, uh, or just dinosaurs that are going to, um, be good fighters. So yeah, um, taming all these dodos is probably not the the best idea in the world. So <laughs> I'm, I might have to end up. Um, oh oh, I wonder if I can build a bed. I've i I've, I've had the recipe forever, and getting that built would be huge. What am I missing? Hide. Ooh, forty hide. Jeez. Well, I will have to keep working on it. I guess. Or unless do I have some hide lying around? That'd be ideal. Um, okay, none in there. What about back here? Come on, have some hide. No. Darn. I didn't, I didn't get enough off of the turtle. Well, once, once the sun comes back up, I guess we'll have to uh, work on that. So